Hi everybody, Tom here, uh, wanting to show off a new pick and place machine I got. This is a uh, Chinese tabletop machine. Uh, it's made by a company called Neoden, uh, TM245P. Uh, it's turning out to be a very useful machine. It's, uh, it's not a professional machine, it's kind of an entry level machine, it's, but I would consider it uh, at the top of the tabletop machines. It does not have vision, but it has some pretty good uh, correction methods to get the parts on pretty accurately. Um, I have had to fuss with it quite a bit to get it to, uh, you know, be accurate. Um, and uh, but it's definitely very helpful. And if you're putting parts together by hand, uh, this thing will help a lot. Um, if you're a professional, it's already using you know a hundred thousand dollar machine or something like that. You won't be impressed with this machine. Uh, but if you're looking for an entry level machine, I, uh, I think this is a very interesting machine. Uh, don't buy this machine thinking it's going to be turnkey. There is some effort required uh, as far as learning how it works. It's pretty logical. Uh, it's all text delimited CSV files that drive it. Um, and uh, the manual is pretty good, but remember it's a Chinese uh, interpreted manual, so it has the associated uh, trouble with that. But um, I've been able to mostly to figure everything out, but, uh, but it does take some persistence and effort to get this machine producing. But let me go ahead and show you it running. Uh, we're running some panelized boards. There's 12 of these each on here. Um, and I got it in a pause mode. And we'll go ahead and restart it. Now. And I'll, I'll give you a zoom in so you can see what's going in. This is running at one half speed, so it can run even faster than this. Um, I currently have it, uh, the machine clamped to a, a pretty heavy, uh, you know, solid maple table. Uh, so you need a stable table, that helps quite a bit. I was originally doing this on a uh, table that would move, and uh, accuracy has improved a lot uh, by moving it over here and also by tweaking some of the coordinates. Um, I'll pause it here so I can talk a little more. Um, you can pause the machine. You can also make it restart from any circuit and any component. So if you, you, if you have a jam or something like that, um, they've got pretty good software to help you uh, get going again. Um, I use Eagle, and um, there's some back-end ULPs out there for the, T the earlier versions of this machine. Um, I took those and edited them to make a little bit more appropriate ULP for this machine uh, that will make a template file. Uh, but you still have to do some editing, manual editing of that file to get it to work properly, but it's not too hard. Um, and once the machine's set up, it's, it's quite productive. Um, I'll show you run a little bit more here. Anyhow, that's Neoden uh, TM245P. I'm Tom Matthews from Matthews Engineering. I uh, hope you enjoy this video.